Oh, do I have a video for you guys today? I ended up going to an estate sale on Thursday, picked up a huge haul of some of my favorite stuff to buy and resell. This might be my favorite score of the year, so stick around, come along with me, and check it out. It's awesome. 12, like that hat, man. Thank you. 13, good morning. 14. That thing is cool. Look how huge that is. 175 bucks. Super cool though. Yo, look, they got the big helicopter too. It's got all the blades down here and everything. Man, that's 125. I don't know these GI Joes too well though. And we're back, back here in the eBay room. And as you guys just saw, that was awesome. What a great estate sale. It had everything that you could want. It had old toys, it had antiques, it had jewelry, it had electronics. It had everything. There was a ton of stuff to look at, to buy, and to hopefully make some money on. And just look at all this. This is everything that I got. And as I'm sure you saw in that footage, there is a bunch to unpack. So I'm gonna take you through everything right now. I'm not gonna go through this in any particular order. I'm just gonna kind of start pulling stuff out, but I am gonna save the toy stuff for last because that stuff 
is what I'm most excited about. Keep in mind when I'm going through this stuff, some of it's still going to have the price tags on it, but I ended up paying $200 total. The guy running the sale was awesome and gave me a great deal at the end. Here's the first item. This is a car amplifier for like sound systems and stuff. You can see the brand name is Alpine and the model number is right here. MRP-T220 if you want to look it up yourself. Looks like this is going to be going between $60 and $100. The next item here is a fanny pack and as we can tell by the logo right here, it is a Masters fanny pack, Masters Golf, and it's really clean, really good shape and this one should sell right around 30 to 40 bucks. I ended up picking up one hat and this is a Cincinnati Reds pinstripe hat. Nothing too special there, should sell between 15 and 20. Next we have a plush toy. This is a 1982 glow worm and as you can tell it has a rubber head right there which means it is one of the ones that lights up and glows. If it works, it works, it's the it's worth around $60 and if it doesn't it brings the value all the way down to around 25 to 30 bucks. So if we open up the back there's no light bulb inside, unfortunately. So this one is going to be worth around 25 to 30 bucks. But just know, if you come across these and they have the bulb and it lights up, it's worth a lot more money. Next up is a pack of Polaroid 600 film. These sealed packs like this sell between 16 and $20. Then another small item. This is a Canon camera auto wind for a film camera. These tend to go right around 20 bucks. Sticking with the camera theme, the next item is a 135 millimeter Canon camera lens. This should go for right around 50 bucks. Here's one I'm a little stuck on. I believe this is a redhead fire hose adapter from everything I'm seeing online. I'm not 100% sure, but it says redhead on it. And then it says 4 dash half NH. I'm not sure what that means exactly. I'm going to have to do more research on this, but I did see other ones not quite like this that were selling for around a hundred bucks. So I'm hoping this is something special and it's around that, but I've never sold something like this before. So I have no idea. If you know anything more about this, let me know down in the comments. Here's one I tell you guys not to sleep on old Sony Walkmans. You can see this one is a pretty cool vintage looking one. And this model right here is worth about $60 if it works. If it doesn't work, it brings the price down, obviously. I'll have to sell it for parts, but it still go for around 20 bucks. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on these. They're everywhere, and people just pass them right up. Then we've got a few pieces of clothing, a Nike Ohio State football jersey. This should go for around $20. And two vintage t-shirts. You can see this one is a, like, RX Pharmacist shirt. It's an all-over print. Thought that was pretty cool. It is single stitch. I don't know what this one will go for. I'll have to do some research. And in that same category of stuff, another RX shirt. This one has a bear graphic on it. Still pretty cool. Single stitch. It is vintage. Again, I'll have to do more research. And then this is pretty cool. This is a Spuds McKenzie Bud Light bandana. And there is a pretty decent market for beer collectors and Spud stuff sells pretty well. So this should have some value. I'm not really sure what it's worth though. Pretty cool. Now let's get into the really fun stuff, the toys. I got this entire bin of vintage toys. Most of it is G.I. Joe's and Jurassic Park stuff. I'm gonna try and go through it pretty quickly, so I'm not gonna go through every single item, but I'll at least show it and show you what I got. I'm gonna go through the Jurassic Park stuff first. The first two are these battle damage dinosaurs. This one right here is the T-Rex, which is a very good one to look for. You can see it does have the battle damage piece missing right there. Without that little piece, this will still sell for around 30, but if it has that piece, it's like 50 and up. And then the Stegosaurus right here, and you can see he does have his little battle damage patch that comes off. And with that, he's not as valuable as the T-Rex, but he is still going to go for around 35 to 40. And then I got a few of the vehicles. Most of the vehicles ended up being 100% complete. There are a few that are missing one or two pieces, but this one right here is the Mobile Command Center from 1997. And this one right here will pay for the entirety of my purchase. This is selling for right around $200. And then I didn't look up any of the other names and values behind any of these vehicles. If you know what they are off the top of your head, let me know down low in the comments. But we got this Jeep and a trailer attachment. Then we got this 1993 Jeep with the little boom arm right there. A little mini quad or four-wheeler right here. And then the final vehicle, I think I've sold this one before. I think it's called the Ground Tracker, but I'm not 100% sure. This one's from 1996 though. And then I got a few figures. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 different figures. I actually think that this one right here is worth the most. I looked her up, I think her name was Kelly, and she was going for over 30 bucks by herself. And then all of those figures also came with a bunch of different accessories. And then finally, we had some little mini dinosaurs like this Triceratops in a cage, a little baby Stegosaurus, and I don't know what this one's called, a Pterodactyl, a little Brachiosaurus, and the best one, a little bitty Velociraptor. 
And that's going to round out the rest of the Jurassic Park stuff. I just got a lot of the accessories that I had to figure out what cars and stuff they go to. But now let's hop into the G.I. Joes, which is where some of the real money is. For the G.I. Joe stuff, I ended up focusing more on the 3-inch figures than on the 12-inch ones. Historically, from what I have sold, there has been more value in the 3-inch figures than there have been in the 12-inch ones. And I grabbed every single 3-inch figure I could find, including like 5 bags of accessories. So I'm going to have to go through all these, match up the accessories to the actual Joes, Luckily, there's a great index for that at yojo.com, and I should be able to figure that out relatively simply, but let me take you through the figures I got. I'm not going to go through each individual one, but I'll show you some highlights. First, these two right here are both the repeater action figures from the Night Force series. I've sold these before. If they are loose and don't have any of their accessories, like these two are right here, they sell for around 100 bucks. but if they do end up having their accessories in some of these bags that I have to search through, then they could be anywhere between $125 and $150 each. And then another double from the Night Force series, these guys right here, the Shockwave figures. These two I know have some of the accessories because I could see them through the bags, but if they didn't have their accessories and they were just loose, they're worth around $120 bucks each, and if they are complete and have everything with them, they can sell well over $200 a piece. These next few were just ones that I thought were cool. They might not necessarily have a ton of value. I haven't looked them all up yet, but I've never sold these ones before. There are two little astronaut ones right here. Again, I don't know the names on these. I'm going to have to look these guys up. Just thought they were neat. And then this one right here, I believe, is a special one because I think, off the top of my head, I think he might be a mail-away figure. And mail-aways tend to be worth more. I'm not 100% on that one, but I think I've sold him before. Instead of going through the rest of them with you because I don't know their names off the top of my head, I'm going to have to do research on them. I'm just going to flash them up on the screen like I did for the Jurassic Park ones. I think I showed you seven so far. So here is number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. And finally, one bag full of random characters that need to be put back together and re-rubber banded. There's probably about six in there, so around 50 different G.I. Joes total in that lot. And then to accompany those 50 G.I. Joes, we got five bags full of various accessories and pieces and parts. I'm going to have to go through these and put them together with the correct G.I. Joes. It's going to be a little bit of a process, but it's going to be worth it in the end. And then finally, to round out this haul, two random bags. This one had like a Ninja Turtle in it, so I grabbed it. It's also full of different accessories in there. And then this little bag of Star Wars guys as well. Just, just wow. Can you believe all of that stuff came from the same estate sale? That is a ton of stuff to score. I am super happy with that. Remember, I paid $200 total, and I'm going to make, I, I don't even know, <laughs> a lot of money on this. You got to figure that Jurassic Park Command Center is worth $200 by itself, which is the total I ended up paying for everything. So that is going to be my money back. Everything else is profit. What a score. That is crazy. I am so happy with that haul. Toys are some of my favorite things to pick up. I may not be the most knowledgeable person on them, but man, do I love it. And I hope you guys loved this haul as much as I did. It had everything. It had toys. It had electronics. It had clothing. It was a plethora of a score. So if you did like this style of video, make sure you hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys enjoy the content I'm putting out and the information I'm providing to you. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that little red button. It helps me out. Out, it'll let you know when I put out a video and keep you up to date with everything going on on my channel. And to make this haul even more crazy, I found this on the Thursday before the reseller rally, which means there are a ton of resellers already in town from all over the country coming to Cincinnati, ready to have fun on Saturday. That means this weekend is going to be full of competition as well, and I do still plan to go out and find some awesome items. So make sure you stick around and watch for the next video if you guys are going to the rally. Well, I guess by the time this video goes out, it would have already happened, but if you stopped and said hi, to me. Thanks. I appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you guys all for watching. Let me know what your favorite find was of this haul down below in the comments. And until next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.